No need for thanks. All part of the job. You can talk. Some Jags have what it takes, others don't. You mean vocal cords? Not vocal cords, magic. Why, isn't it apparent that I'm one of those super courageous Jaguars who defend the weak, who protect the innocent, and who a very powerful, wise sorcerer would therefore bless with the power of speech? Huh, that snake, it was dead. Huh? And you knew it. Oh, no. Dead snakes are the most dangerous kind. You're walking down a path. You find a dead snake. You pick it up to study it. You slip on a rotting mango. You fly onto your back as the snake goes airborne. And there you are, helpless on the ground, when coming down through the air towards you is the dead snake. Its beady dead eyes fixed on you. Its dead mouth wide open. And its dead fangs about to plunge right into your neck. Luckily for you, the bravest cat in the jungle just saved your life. And we met the comic relief of the game outside of Pitfall Harry himself. I don't, feel, I don't know why I said his full name. But uh, yes, we will be, definitely be seeing that guy, or cat, jaguar thing. We've seen him throughout the game. Now this is always a neat little area. You have all these different statues here, and you have uh, waterfalls there. Where it's very neat. Very atmospheric. Atmospheric! Yeah, swing on the vines, like I said, is really weird. Trying to get all your motivation. Motivation. Your momentum going. Have I ever mentioned that English is not my strongest language? I believe when we come over here. Yeah, you, this is what you need the right to strike for. The answer's tomb. And we are... We're robbing a dude. Stole his, uh, worldly goods. But yeah, you can kind of see this is, this is sort of a uh, burial ground. Up there, we can see that we need the red strike once more. We cannot get it, however. So we'll worry about that later. And let's head over to Bitten Binders Camp. And we see there's a native attacking a porcupine. We can't allow that. Take that. And so these. Nope. Ow. And we want to take you out. Porcupines are the devil. They are the, not the most annoying, but they are some of the most annoying enemies. We have uh, piranhas, so you want to swim really quickly. Occasionally they will bite you once, if you're uh, lucky enough you can get away. Gyrocoptic detreification is still an inexact science. As opposed to getting gyrocopters stuck in trees. Exactly. I've been here less than a day, and I'm already a master. Great! You should write a paper on it with a journal of the National Society of Getting Things Stuck in Trees. Little banter there. Uh, I got a guy over here in a gyroscope plane thing. He'll occasionally come look out, but yeah, you don't see him. Whatever you say, dude. Well, let's come over here and go see Bittenbinder in his little tank. Things aren't going very well, I'm afraid. After we found this abandoned structure, Leech took off in his gyrocopter and got himself stuck in a tree. I've broken my arm, and the gizmo tank's stuck. Here, take this. The Heroic Handbook? A book of knowledge that no adventurer should be without. I'm afraid some of the pages were scattered in the jungle during the crash, but at least the Rising Strike Maneuver is still in there. It'll help you free the gizmo tank. The Rising Strike. We gotta press B and then A. Like that. 
and we can go ahead and punch this thing. Good job, Harry. So why are you guys here? Leech. You're here for Leech? Free Leech and the gyrocopter. My guess is that if you hit the bullseye on the wing, that should do it. Mm-hmm. All right. I used to help my friend, Kevin McAllister. The archaeologist from Yale? By acting as his guide. When he came here a few months ago, I was too busy to join him. Well, at least that's what I tell myself now. He hasn't been heard from since. And his daughter, Nicole, asked me to help her find him. I see. You're here because of... Nicole. Because of guilt. Which is not such a bad thing. For instance, you should feel guilty that you haven't tried to free Leech from that tree. And we get these uh, sling, which is another one of our weapons. Get a little bit of backstory as to why uh, Bitten Bind is here. We don't exactly know why uh, Harry's here, though. I don't think they ever mentioned that. But he's the protagonist. He has to be here. So we shall go you know, help Leech and probably get some more backstory. Probably not. Might just get some witty humor. And we need to hit the bullseye, so you need to press down and then press up. Hello there. You must be Harry. Hewitt. Hewitt Leach. Oh, thanks for getting me down from there. I just wanted to see if that thing works and if you could really fly it. Oh, it does. And I can. And it can. And I will. You can? Or you will? Or it will? It can if I can. And it's my will that it will. So it can. Hey! Time is ticking! D but he can't. Or won't. I'm gonna set up camp here. You think you'll be able to find the other members of my party? Help them out if they're in trouble? Would you do that? I can, and I can, and I will. Would you stop talking like that? I could, but I won't. I certainly wasn't one to turn down Bittenbinder's request for help, and Nicole probably was the only girl within a hundred miles. Luckily, Leech had chopped down that tree, so I decided to climb it and head back the way I came. Soon enough, I'd find a whole lot more than I'd bargained for. Oh, Harry, you witty devil. But yes, with uh, Leech's help, we are now able to uh, leave. We have these uh, porcupines here that we want to just avoid. They will roll at you and they get stuck, so it's easy to take them out of that. Oh, jeez. I was going to say, uh, get out of here without taking damage, but, oh well. Like I said, porcupines are the devil. We want to head backtrack real quick to, uh, come over here, so we can go get us an idol. Now we have the Rising Strike, we could backtrack all the way over to, um, the one area where we sold the Gizmo tank, tracks and stuff. But I want to wait on doing that, because we need to do something else first. So we needed the Rising Strike to get back out of here. So it's very convenient that we uh, got that ability. I mean, if we didn't go see Bittenbinder, we would have got stuck here. Let's get myself. And you want to go ahead and start rolling, because... Ninjas! Oh, come on. Nope, get away from me. And let's go ahead and go back to the Great Deku Tree. We see that there's a switcher that we need to hit. It's probably better to just go ahead and uh, get a lot closer. You can shoot it from uh, that little area you start off at. But it's probably better to just come over to this tree right here. And just uh, shoot it. Now here's the good thing, uh, if you jump off the tree, long falls do not hurt you. It's excellent, and that needs to be a thing in every platformer. I don't understand the point of fall damage in a platformer. It's just dumb. How about 
that. It's you again. Quick Claw at your service. You said you were given the power of speech by a sorcerer, right? As a reward for my years of selfless service to underdogs, undercats, underexplorers, and under tourists. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Which I can, since I can talk. Maybe he could use his magic to help me find these people I'm searching for. <laughs> Listen, uh... Harry. Some people call me, uh, <laughs> Pitfall Harry. Listen, Harry. Some people call me Pitfall Harry. You don't want to meet this guy. Trust me. What's his name? If, if you're looking for your people, I think I saw one east of here. Help! Can anyone hear me? Hmm. <laughs> That was like a neat idea. That doesn't sound like a lot like Nicole, so why am I going so slow? Take that! Alright, so we want to go ahead and uh, use the little idea. Hit the plane. You can't also spam it like this. I don't want to do anything. But you don't want to hit it too many times. Right there will work. Anyone go ahead and make sure you're healed up for what's coming up ahead. Yes, we already did that. Thank you. And if we go up here. We. You'll see these things uh, in important places. Like. Up there. I'm doing research on the chlorophyll content in tropical foliage. Now get me out of here! Use your sling! Say please. Please get me out of here. Please get me out of here, you gorgeous hunk. Please get me out of here, you gorgeous hunk, so I can kill you. Close enough. Pitfall Harry, doing a little bird watching? Certainly is an interesting bird. Well, if it isn't Jonathan Saint Scum, I mean Saint Clair. I always loved your quick tongue. Remind me to cut it out sometime. Tortured any natives lately? Isn't that how you found Inatuk's tomb in Egypt? <laughs> you may have won that round, Harry. But this time, I play for keeps. Saint Clair, the most German man you will ever meet. So yes, boss fight time. Very simple boss fight too. You just want to hit these pegs. I'm so German. So yeah, uh, while you're in this mode, while you're in the slingshot mode, you can press the L and R to uh, strafe around. Ah, oh, you jerk. Go ahead and swing around right here. Hit this. As far as I know, St. Clair is uh, native to this game. Uh, as far as I know, he was only created for his game. He's not in any other yeah. games. But a very simple boss fight. So we want to go ahead and jump across. Hello. Hi. And we want to. You can actually uh, hit her. Ow. Oh, I hate you. Ow. Oh, I hate you. Now you love me. Ow. Thanks for the moral support during the fight. Couldn't have you die. How would I get out of the tree? Next time you get stuck, just call my name. I'll be sure not to come. Look, I've read every book there is in this jungle. I know it infinitely better than you do. Just from reading? It's easy. I'll teach you sometime. That's okay. I realize you need to put me down to hide your love. Can you put your delusions on hold? 
I want to study these ruins. Fine. After you're done, head back to camp. You can follow the gizmo tracks. I want to check out that cave St. Clair escaped through. I could use some light, though. If I give you this, does it mean you'll leave? Leave you? That's a great idea. As soon as I saw St. Clair, I knew that the bad news was only starting. And what was worse, Nicole gave me the cold shoulder. At least with her torch, I'd be able to burn through those spider webs to the west, keep the rescue mission going, and maybe find out what St. Clair was up to. We got a torch! And that's exactly what you do. When you get it, you put it right in your book bag. Because that's not dumb. Mr. Gunpowder, meet Mr. Torch. Now we just stand back. You actually want to keep your torch out and wave it all around. We have bats, and they're terrified of fire because they'll run right into it like an idiot. So we have these uh, slag mites that we want to go ahead and knock out, and we're done. Yay! So we're back up here in the altar area. Burn! And a random ray of sunshine. We. So, uh, we could backtrack. But I feel like it's probably easier just to, uh, wait to do all that. Uh. Let's explore back there. Hey, no, let's backtrack. Do a little bit back. Uh, I won't, I won't let you uh, see the whole entire thing, though. I will meet you guys back in the areas we, we're going to go to. So back over here, this is where we saw that one explorer stuck in cobwebs. We go ahead and burn it. We freed a guy without actually killing him. Hooray! <laughs> And now that he's all excitable and stuff, where's the stupid ladder at? There it is. Perfect! I didn't think I'll actually be able to grab it. So now that we're over here in the shrine area, uh, there was that one thing that we bought early on. And I'm actually kind of glad we did it, because now I can get out of the way. Come over here and around this corner. Time to get my game on. For some reason, they have an Atari, and we can play the original Pitfall. So yeah, uh, you gotta get to, well, the 20,000 points, I think it was. So we have very simple jumps to make. But yeah, so this is the original Pitfall. Need a little Easter egg. If these, uh, oh, I thought I made it. Jump. Once you get to the other side, let go. This part sucks. Because you got to jump across and then get right here on the. Dang it. You get two tries. I wasted one already. You gotta get like right there on the eye. Dang it. I never did like this mini game. Wow, that was perfect. Oh, come on. I pressed A. And you just gotta press start and then go on. Whoops. I accidentally quit. So yeah, it gives a little cheat code to play. Uh, I forget how you reactivate it. Things just leave and come back. Time to get my game on. That's it, number two! Thank you. 
Yay! Only took me two tries. I want to quit. So there, we get to get an idol for playing the original Pitfall. Gotcha. And uh, we get, like if you get to that cheat code on the title screen of the show, you can play it any time. If you come back here again, it'll allow you to play uh, the second Pitfall, which is a neat little Easter egg. <laughs> 